Hi guys, I want you to consider the following uh, scenario. So picture a large plantation of trees, the ones that you always see next to the, ro the road in the mountains. So these are big trees that's um, been planted there at great expense and they've been nurtured for, for a few years and then at some stage they are large enough and then people come with big machinery and they cut down the trees and this has to be transported on the back of a very ugly truck looks like it's <laughs> okay so then it gets transported to the factory where um, it will be processed further so then the products that will come from this process would include uh, wooden planks so then the nicer pieces of wood will be cut into planks um, that will be used for making furniture and building houses etc then um, some of the wood will be pulped and used to make paper and the bark from the trees so the trees have lots of bark on it that will be stripped and this could be packaged and sold to nurseries um, or plant places that uh, grow small little plants where they use it for mulch so around the plants they throw the bark at the roots to prevent moisture to evaporate so the bar could be sold and then we have sawdust so this in the cutting process there's lots of fine dust that come off and this collects on the floor and it needs to be cleaned off and maybe something can be do without with it so these are the products that come from the this process now before the products become identifiable we already have to incur a lot of costs and this is a, and all these products all four of these products come from the same process so this is called the joint process and none of these four products on the right hand side can be identified before a specific point so so when we transport the the wooden logs the cut down trees and we still can't identify the four different products but only once we start cutting up the pieces and sorting the good ones from the bad etc can we identify the different products so this is a joint process we also can't manipulate this process here to yield only good planks but no bark and no sawdust or to only yield um, wood for paper and no bark um, or sawdust so the the joint process has to be carried out before we know how much of each of these um, products will come from the process now what is the problem with this we need to cost the four products on the right hand side and a large part of the cost would come from this joint process so how do we allocate these costs to the different products and that is what this joint and byproduct costing system is about. Mm -hmm.